Hi, I'm Eugene Taylor Sutton, Bishop of the Diocese of Maryland, and we are honored to host the 80th General Convention of the Episcopal Church right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Our staff has worked diligently for four years to prepare for this convention. At first, the onset of the pandemic delayed our meeting by a year, and then our plans had to be scaled back for COVID safety reasons. Nevertheless, please know that the staff and volunteers of the Episcopal Diocese of Maryland has been preparing for your arrival for four years. I want you to know something about Baltimore. Did you know that you're now in Charm City, the greatest city in the world? How do we know that it's the greatest city in the world? Because many of our park benches tell us that Baltimore is the greatest city in the world. And there's some things you got to know about uh, this city. One thing in the welcome, notice that you received and many of you have received this welcome card, Visit Baltimore. And it shows that it shows some cool people here. We're really cool here in Baltimore. We got a lot of quirkiness here. And of course, we're crabby people. And crab is a big thing. Get some crab cakes if you can. I cannot because I'm allergic to crab to shellfish, that's why I was elected Bishop of Maryland. And of course, there's the Otterbein cookies of, of Baltimore staple. And did you know you can get, when you want a burger, get burger cookies. Yes, chocolate uh, covered cookies are the burgers here. But most of all, you're gonna need this. This is Old Bay seasoning. Now, this is a staple, just carry it all with you because we here in Maryland, we like to put this on everything. We put it, of course, on crabs and seafood and fish. We put it on eggs. We put it on vegetables. We put it on fruit. We put it on desserts, pies, and ice cream. Just get this Old Bay seasoning for your great welcome. Now, I also want you to join us for this convention at gc80.org, gc80.org, and there you will find links to the information you need for this general convention, as well as a host of tours and other artifacts that, and links to make your in-person or virtual visit as hospitable and fulfilling as possible. There are even opportunities for you to support local businesses from afar on the site. And of course, this website links to our larger web pres presence so that you can learn as much as you want about the things we are doing here in Maryland. Now, my friends, the city of Baltimore is not without its challenges, of course, and its problems. And some of you may have wondered too, is it safe here? We love Baltimore so much and we have walked these neighborhoods. I've walked these neighborhoods a lot and a lot of my friends and cohorts and the only thing you need to know here is take the same precautions as you would in any major city. Baltimore is no different. Baltimore is extending its arms of welcome and love to you, and it's shown in so many ways. And in fact, some people also may come up to you when you're walking the streets and say, can you spare a dollar? Well, if you can, that's fine. But if you can't, it's okay to say, no, sorry, but I love you and they will love you in return, I promise. So we invite you into our community of love in this diocese, all over the diocese, and we invite you to love and serve all the people within its bounds. So welcome to Baltimore, hun. Enjoy our food and hospitality as much as you can, such as eating outdoors. And if you've traveled here and have some time, visit our mountains and coastal areas and farms. This is a beautiful state with a rich history and we're glad you are, you are all here. And finally, I wanna thank all the volunteers from the Diocese of Maryland and Easton and the Diocese of Washington who have so dutifully signed up and re-signed to help make the in-person part, part of this convention as hospitable as possible. So thank you all and welcome to Maryland.